What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Crown Hyundai in St. Pete, Florida, because guess what? I have that American icon. This is a 2019 Chevrolet Corvette, but it's not just any Corvette. This is a C7 Grand Sport. But before we get into this Sebring Orange American sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Chevrolet Corvette. It's been around since 1953, but you know what? The Grand Sport name, a lot of people think it came about during the C6, the sixth generation of the Corvette, but that's not the case. It goes all the way back to 1963 when the true father of the Corvette, Zora Arcus Duntov, created some special factory racers, snuck them out the back door to go up against the mighty 427 Cobras. Now, the exciting thing is, is that they actually won their first race in Nassau with Roger Penske, none other than Roger Penske behind the wheel of that winning Grand Sport. Eventually, the Grand Sport name disappeared, but it made a triumphant return on a production Corvette in 1996. That was the one color, one color only, Admiral Blue with the white racing stripe. They made a limited amount of them, and then it disappeared again. The C4 generation was over in 96, and the Grand Sport name disappeared. Well, it came back, came back in a big way for the C6 generation. And leading into the seventh generation, it is back once again. Lots of different ways you could option them, lots of different color choices. Not as limited as that 96, but still has a lot of special touches. But what I wanna find out is right now in the market, prices of used vehicles are on the rise, especially with the Chevrolet Corvette. But is there gonna be a time where the prices on a car like this, a unique sports car, are those prices gonna go back down? So what I wanna find out is, should you be looking for one of these 2019s, the last year of the front engine Corvette, last year of the C7, and what better way to do it than with a Grand Sport? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2019 and find out. Right off the bat, you'll notice that Sebring orange color, and what a famous name, Sebring. Sebring International Raceway, so many great wins for the Chevrolet Corvette there. On the C7 generation, I love the shape of the body. Very, very low slung. When this design came out in 2014, it looked so much like a Ferrari, especially with the headlight housing. So you're gonna get those LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and remember, like I said, this is the last year of this generation. Now, the reason why I like the Grand Sport option is actually a couple reasons. First of all, you're gonna get the Z06 body. So what that means is you're getting a wider body than your standard Stingray. You'll notice how they have the flat black fender flare that extends out to keep those wheels and tires tucked in nice and clean out of the Airstream. The way they kind of just wrap everything around. This has all been proven on the racetrack. Multiple 24-hour Le Mans wins. You'll notice that flat black splitter that extends out the bottom. And as we come across the front, what are you gonna have? Full functionality. Look at the way that front splitter drops down. I just love the aggressive look. You have that carbon flash metallic material, very similar to a gloss black with a little bit of metal flake. You'll notice the cameras up front. That's for the performance data recorder. You go do your track day, you can record all the telemetry and video footage so you could play it back and turn some faster lap times, that Corvette badge. So much history, I don't care what year you look at, always gonna have the cross flags with the checkered flag and the Chevrolet bow tie flag. You'll notice the carbon flash metallic all the way around it. But the way that they did the body lines was very Stealth Fighter-esque, and I really love that nice, long, low slung hood. Now when we get up onto the hood, You'll notice that you're gonna have that heat extractor, functional heat extractor to drag the hot air out, and it's also an aerodynamic aid. This hood is carbon fiber, and what they did was they painted everything Sebring orange and left the center area bare to show the carbon fiber that is part of that hood construction. Love that extra touch, that extra style, and like I said, you're getting that extra width of that Z06 body. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? These wheels are unique to the Grand Sport, and you're gonna get a staggered setup. So up front, we have 19-inch wheels, 
split spoke design. You're gonna have the massive six piston Brembo calipers gonna clamp down on those rotors. Love the way they got the Corvette script, two piece rotors, aluminum hat, steel rotor that has those grooves in it. That's to help get rid of heat, dissipate heat. Heat robs us of braking power, fully ventilated. Really think that the way they did the style of the wheel works well with the body. These tires are 285 on the width, 30 series sidewall, looking really good. And of course, the Michelin Pilot Sport tires really gonna help give us that grip. Now, as we go down that fender, one of the other pieces of the puzzle you see on so many Corvettes is gonna be that functional side fender vent. Carbon flash metallic, You'll notice it's got the Corvette Grand Sport name there. That's an easy identifier. Plus it's got this split level design, the way they bring the Sebring orange into it, but that's fully functional. I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and show how it flares out. Not only sexy, but looking good and gonna help with aerodynamic efficiency. We have carbon flash metallic on the side mirrors, blacked out on the A pillars, all C7s that are a, a coupe, not a convertible, have that removable target top. So this top is removable. You can store it in the back. You'll notice that massive side sill that extends out. And one of the reasons why they taper it towards the rear is so when you get in and out, you don't bang your feet on it, especially like a high heel shoe. You'll notice that we have functional cooling in the back with the carbon flash metallic. And I really think that the way that they styled the door handles to be actually behind the door here really gives it a nice clean look. Here's another way to tell that this is not a Z06. If this was a Z06, this would actually be carbon flash metallic. On the Grand Sport, it's color matched. And this is an actual cooling vent, not for the brakes, but for the transaxle. Remember, the transmission is in the back engine is up the front at the front to help give us better weight distribution front to rear the way the rear widens out and then of course when you look at the rear tire setup you're going to get 20 inch wheels out back you'll notice still going to get two piece rotors four piston calipers and these are 335 so you're getting a meaty 335 on the width those pilot super sport tires are going to give you the grip and the stick that you want coming around back absolutely just so seductive the way the roof lines come off around that rear glass you got the trunk lid spoiler carbon flash metallic of course we have the quad tail lights that's another signature so many years on a corvette i know there was a big upset when they went really away from round but still looking great. LED, just like up front on the headlights. You got your functionality all the way down the side of both ends of this vehicle. And then you're gonna, of course, have the cross flags, the Corvette badge looking slick, and I, I miss. You look at the new C8 Corvette, you don't have this anymore. That quad tip exhaust really gives you that sound. GM Performance gonna give you nice deep rumble when you want it. But well, why don't we go ahead, let's open up the hood and see what's powering our Grand Sport. All right, guys, one of the things that may keep prices at the higher end is what is underneath the hood, that naturally aspirated V8 power as we go more and more towards electrification. But just like all the Corvettes before it, you have that reverse opening hood, nice and light. And what do we have? We're gonna have that 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 push rod technology the thing i'm gonna have to zonk though is the engine cover there was once upon a time where the intake plenum on a corvette was drop dead seductive super sexy the problem is is that now they put these covers on it and what the plenum is made out of you look at like say my 1985 corvette i used to have that two port fuel injected l98 had a beautiful intake plenum this not so much but what are we talking about when we're looking at horsepower so with this 6.2 liter you're going to get 460 horsepower when you go grand sport 465 pound feet of torque it can be made into a six speed manual or eight speed automatic with the automatic zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds quarter mile goes by at 11.9 top speed 175 miles an hour 
MPGs, 15 in the city, 26 on the highway, and the car weighs about 3,479 pounds. Another wonderful thing about the Grand Sport is you're getting all that Z06 style, and you're getting all the goodies from the Z51 performance package. But while we go ahead, let's fire up this beast and hear what it sounds like. guys we're inside this 2019 Corvette Grand Sport I tell you every time I'm in one of these uh, I just I just want one you know and I know that's exactly what you're saying is you're like Joe I wanted a C7 I was rolling the dice to see how far the prices were gonna go down and then the pandemic struck and now there's this chip shortage and the prices have skyrocketed what should I do I think it's one of those situations, if you want one, who's to say that the prices won't continue to go up or stay at a high level? And you know what? This 2019 has 6,800 miles on it. If you're wondering, well, what's the asking price, Joe? What's Crown Hyundai want for this thing? You're looking, they're asking $75,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, this is a 2LT trim. So what that means is you're going to get that nice, smooth treatment on the door panels, soft touch with the white contrast stitching. We got the Bose sound system, a little bit of silver on the door handle, and then you have very nice padded armrests. The door pocket is on the smaller side, so maybe one everything bagel with a smear of cream cheese on it. Going from the door panel to the dash, I love the way that they did the dual climate. Your passenger actually has their own climate control and their heated and ventilated seat buttons for themselves on their side. That's all they get and their two AC vents. Nice divider with an oak crap handle for your passenger. And then everything else is all driver focused. So what do we have? We have that eight inch infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation obviously. I love when you shut it off the system it shows the cross flags that's so iconic hit that button i love the james bond-esque secret compartment with felt lining you know that little model that your grandfather gave you of a 63 grand sport keep it in here it won't get scratched and you got a usb jack in there and it closes up very nicely there's your dual climate control radio control buttons this one has that optional grand sport badge on the dash with that 63 Grand Sport. I love the touches. Heated seats, ventilated seats, of course. This one has the eight-speed automatic, or you could go six-speed manual. I do like the way they put the fine touches. That's where you're going when you go Corvette, all the fine touches. And they really elevated the whole interior for the C7 generation. You got the nice leather with the stitch work. I love this aluminum finish. You got a 12-volt which you're gonna to wanna to use for that radar detector. We have our two cup holders, but you're not drinking in my Corvette. And then you also have your mode select knob to go through the different modes, sport, track, no, normal, electric e-brake. Semi hard on the armrest, open it up. You got another 12 volt and two USBs, but you don't have any room for Twinkies in here. If you put Twinkies in here, you're gonna squirt cream all over this beautiful interior. Here's your key fob, Corvette style with the cross flags. Nice size, very thin. You got remote start because we got an automatic. And then the seats, one piece backs. Love the badging, the stitch work, leather, looking really good. Full electric assist for the passenger, obviously also for the driver. And like I mentioned, we got the removable Targa roof. Enjoy that open air experience. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind this flat bottom steering wheel in our Corvette Grand Sport. All right, guys, business end in this Corvette Grand Sport. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room, and that's the thing that makes the Corvette such a obtainable sports car for so many people, is that the variety of sizes of people that this car can fit. You have two memory seat settings, really digging the style with the Corvette script and the cross flags on that sill plate, and getting in and out has never been easier in a Corvette. In the foot box, you got that aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle. Plenty of room for your feet. 
You got your seat controls that are easy to get to. And then, like I said, it really just holds you in very nicely. Leather wrap steering wheel, flat bottom. One of the Zonks though, they should have put Grand Sport right here in this big, big dead empty area. But I like the aluminum. You do have the Corvette flags on the horn button, paddles to go up and down the eight speed automatic. And this is an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you're gonna have that massive eight inch digital TFT display in there all the telemetry plus some analog readouts as well which is great to give you all the information i'll be honest the analog gauges are a little bit redundant but it does give a nice balance to the whole gauge pod but while we go ahead let's check out the cargo area because i think you're going to be surprised what you could fit in this chevrolet corvette right, guys another reason why prices may not really drop on these c7s is the usability real nice you pop the rear hatch you have a ton of room back here. You could daily drive this Grand Sport, no issues whatsoever. You'll notice that you have the original floor mats in here. And one thing I wanted to point out was there is an image of the original 63 Grand Sport. Very, very cool, the touches. And that's what I love about the Chevrolet Corvette is that there's just so much heritage there that the engineers and designers try to bring that into the vehicle but you're looking at about 15 cubic feet of space back here, which there's some sedans that we review that don't even have that much space. But you know what? It's not about the storage. What's definitely gonna keep the price on the higher end is gonna be the on-throttle excitement. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for a spin in our Sebring Orange Grand Sport. All right, guys, we're in this C7 2019 Corvette Grand Sport, the last of the C7, the last of the front engine Corvettes, and there's just something so very special. If you have not been in one of these cars, having that low slung hood in front of you with that naturally V8 aspirated horsepower, it just has so much history, so much connection. Visibility in these Corvettes are, it's just phenomenal how good you could see out the windshield, the side mirrors, the back glass. That makes it an easy, easy car to drive. But you know what? Let's go on throttle. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go, yeah! Yeah! Love the sound of that freaking exhaust. Nice downshifts. Here we go. Really, really nice the way it just puts the power down so progressively. It, it's like you don't have to be afraid of it like a Z06 or a ZR1. Those cars, 650 horsepower, 755 horsepower. Having the 460 horsepower may seem like you're not getting the full experience, but you really do, especially with the way that you're able to use the power. And that's another reason why I think these cars will remain so popular is because you just have usable power. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shifter, put it into manual shift mode and use the paddles. I really wish that this one had the seven speed manual transmission. That really would have been the icing on the cake. But downshifts are very quick with the eight speed automatic. Let's do a little on throttle, shall we? On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> from the exhaust every time you shift it really makes you feel like you're going down the Molson straightaway at the 24 hours of Ma. just a really really unique experience and with the C8 Corvette yeah they're fast they're great but these cars sound better they really really do I'm not exaggerating one bit the sound on a C7 just amazing and then of course the brakes you're gonna be able to shed speed so quick on oh, throttle here we go <laughs> here we go on the brakes look at that nice good turn in good grip really really great with the way it just handles the, the transition from left to right the balance they've done such great work I mean think about the evolution over the years through the different generations of the front engine Corvette. 
it really is phenomenal what they've done with this car. You got the transaxle in the back. That's where the transmission's in the rear. Great gearing. I'm telling you, just a wonderful car all the way around. And it just, it, it, it inspires confidence. Oh, here we go. Look at this in this right-hand bend. Great front-end grip. Feedback is the name of the game in these cars. It really, really is. It provides the driver so much feedback through the front wheel. I just love these Corvettes. I really, really do. Slow down a little bit. Downshift once. On oh, right, here we go. Just push it back in the seat so nicely. And I'm telling you, these seats hold you like a catcher's mitt holds a baseball right over home plate. And then you're able to stop on a dime and give everybody change. I mean, that's how powerful the brakes are. Two-piece rotors. On throw, yeah! Look at this. On the brakes. Nice downshift. Good feedback. shame that they got rid of the front engine Corvette and it's a shame that this one's not a seven speed manual but you know what low mileage one owner car you decide what you want to do you want to keep rolling the dice I say listen if you want it I would get on it now but hopefully this gave you a great overall feel and experience of this C7 Corvette Grand Sport we're going to get back to Crown Hyundai and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Crown Hyundai. Definitely want to thank Steven and the rest of the team getting us access to this 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport. The chip shortage is still a worldwide problem. Prices are still on the rise. They're not making front-engine Corvettes anymore, especially this C7 Grand Sport. Should you jump on one now? Let me know what you think. Do you think that the prices are going to bottom out? Do you think things are going to go back to pre-pandemic time period? Let me know in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the first link, become a Radies Rides Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the muscle behind the camera. She's an American icon. Thank you, Lori, for all your hard work. Show her some love in the comment section, everybody. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.